done that really simple way to change cameras, but maybe you want some like movement. I always find you want to be able to like move the mouse in real time and like give it little adjustments, little controls on your cameras. So there's a little bit more theory and a little bit more thought that goes into this. Get a bit deeper into blueprints here. So if you're ready, we will unlock the mysteries of Unreal by getting mega deep. The way I think about it is like your camera is like your main player. The off-world camera is like the main character of this scene. And then you want your off-world camera to be uh, jumping onto, think about jumping onto a turret in like an old game or something. You jump on, you jump onto this turret and then you gain controls of this turret in a static position. You know, you got your, yeah. you got your movement controlled by whatever, but it's, it's movement that the first person player has taken on. It has now, the first person player has now possessed the turret and is now controlling the turret. So that's how you want to think about it. Working in a games making engine, let's use game logic, you know. Wake up. Hilarious sounds, but you get the idea, you know, you got your first player here, there's the turret, there's the moment he jumps on the turret, he's now controlling that turret, as if it's a camera with some controls to it. So this is this is how I think of it, you know, you got your player here, this is your off-world camera, and then this off-world camera is going to jump on a turret, and the turret's got some uh, movement controls to it, and it's going to be possessing that turret and moving it around. Okay, so jumping into our level, so the idea of this is that our streaming camera is our main pawn, our main player. It's our, it's our player one. And then it's going to possess these cameras as if they're turrets in a game. So we actually don't want to use this off-world camera, but we want to use its capabilities. We, what we want is in the details here, this capture component. That's what's sending out to the texture target, the master stream, the OBS. That's what we want. And we want to attach that to another camera. So we're going to create our player one now. We're going to create our pawn, uh, create a blueprint that's a pawn. We can call it using the Unreal naming convention BP for a blueprint underscore uh, master owl. So in this master owl, double click it. What we want this to be made up of is a kind of turret like movement. We're going to do that with a arm, a spring arm and a cine cam. So the idea of this is that the cine cam is on the spring arm and it's got that kind of movement around this point that kind of gives the camera some rotation so yeah we've got our main we've got our player one now so that's all good and uh drag it into our level and pop it somewhere like where we want it getting a bit confusing here so i'm gonna hide this one and move this away We're probably gonna get rid of that soon enough so yeah we just got our this is our player one master owl and so we're gonna go into this details panel grab this capture component control c there go into the details panel of our master owl blueprint and control v uh, if you don't have another owl capture to copy it from, you can just go add component and type in capture. Uh, so owl capture, that's also there. Well, I figured out um, just this slight thing to keep an eye on. Um, my capture component wasn't a child of my cine cam. You need it to be dragged onto here, absolute child of the cine cam. So we just copied our texture target into this this new uh, pawn. So we can now get rid of this one. If you delete that, it's gonna say there's some references. That's what we've already done in the previous video in our blueprints. But yeah, we can we can delete those, we can delete that and break those references just as long as we then replace them. So highlight that one and go into our level blueprint. And here now it says unknown because we deleted that out. So create a reference to our new camera that we want to use. Control, drag, Everything's now hooked up to our new camera, nice and neat. So yeah, that's the first stage in changing your off-world live camera out for a playable kind of pawn. We've made the controls for it, uh, but I'll just show you how to set that up, make sure it's ready to be used in your level.